Good morning. It is day 31. I'm just finished packing up and just having a quick coffee before we get moseying. And today we're gonna head about 12 miles all uphill. The only good thing about this hill climb is that there's lots of water. It's supposed to be a hot day again today, so hopefully there's some wind. Well, it's 6.45, we're just coming up to top up our water bottles with a little bit of water. Like I said, we only have to carry about a liter today, so that's really cool. Lots of water options today. So they have this really cool little water filling station for hikers, for their water bottles. Almost Super Mario like with the palm trees and the mountains in the background there. Little river crossing. So weird to see a little river in the middle of the desert. We have come to our first official river crossing. Now we get to pick the best spot to cross without getting our feet wet, hopefully, but I don't know if that's possible. Okay, we're gonna walk up a little bit here. This looks like the most promising spot, I think. Huh. Doesn't look like there's an easy way to do this without getting our feet wet. I guess we're just going to have to get our feet wet. That wasn't so bad. Now a secondary river. Ah well, a little wet feet is all good. We have finally crested the hill. Yay. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Isn't that something? Mountains all the way. Just found the uh, Mission River and a nice shady tree to rest under. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. We've already gone seven and a half miles and it looks like we have about another five or six miles to go to the next camp. And I'm just hanging out and eating some Reese peanut butter. And then I mixed a whole bunch of Nutella in there. It makes it really tasty. Toss some dried fruit in. That's going to be my lunch for the day. Yeah, I'm just going to have a little siesta, I think, here. Maybe put my feet in the river. What do you think? I think this is beautiful. <laughs> well, we had a absolutely luxurious two-hour rest and a snooze. <laughs> and then uh, I laid in the river for a little while and soaked my feet, had some lunch. Waited out the afternoon heat, and now Most it's, of it. well, we got here at 12, and now it's 20 after 2, so that should create some shadows anyways, or a little bit of shade along the trail, and the afternoon breeze has picked up again, so back at her. So because we're following the river, there's 
lots of nice green trees around. So the trail's really tricky today. It's been washed out in the past. So we have to follow all these cairn stacks here. Um, it's been a little bit challenging, but uh, just follow the, the app and the, the stacks of rocks and posts where they are and we'll figure it out. I guess we cross the river again and again and uh, and again. Okay, back to her. Beautiful looking wild lupins. Okay, we're officially back on the trail and looks like we have about four more miles, three and a half miles to go until we get to camp. So we should be there in less than two hours. Pretty sure those are claw marks all the way up the tree. You can't see it very well on the camera, but yeah. It's kind of weird how it walks through grassland all of a sudden. It is slippery. Still following more cairns. So my feet really started hurting. We're almost 15 miles today and they just started screaming at me about two miles, three miles back. I thought I could push forth, but I had to stop and take a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen. It's, uh, it's a struggle bus right now. Just got to camp and Jen is taking some pity on me right now and setting up the tent for us. Thanks. No complaining about it. Well guys, I'll make this quick because I know I kind of look scary right now going back and forth <laughs> on the black screen. But today was definitely a, a long day. It was, it was challenging finding the trail. and It was a lot of washout and it was definitely tricky for a while. We <clears throat> we managed to lose the trail a couple few times anyways. Um, I ended up the day with extremely sore heels and goes all the way up into my Achilles and into my calves. So I've got some ibuprofen in me and a muscle relaxant in me and hopefully by the morning that feels better. Just had some interesting concoction of supper. I don't even know what it was, so I can't even describe it to you guys. But it had some soup mix and some cheesies <laughs> and noodles and I don't even Parmesan cheese and chili powder and turmeric as always. So yeah. Oh and then some rice with taco seasoning <laughs> mixed in there as well. And corn chips. So yeah it was it was interesting. But it filled me up. <clears throat> so, um, we're just in the tent. It's getting chilly out right now. We're at about, what, 5,500 feet or something like that. That's and, a great question. And uh, we yeah. hiked almost almost 15 miles today. So. We're at about 4,900. Oh, I lied. We're only at 4,900 feet. And believe it or not, there's no wind tonight at the moment. It's a full moon though, so that might play a factor. I don't know. Anyways, we'll uh, chat in the morning. <laughs>